Yo guys, what's going on? It's Burke Crown coming out of the YouTube video and today we're going to be going over wild card rewards and their true value. What do you really get out of your time in wild card coin wise when you translate the cards you get to coins? So let's get into it. Let's see how many coins we can get with what we open and going through the process of wild card from about two to three hours depending on how you do. Remember, online is the best way to play wild card because if you lose, you get 500 points. If you win, you get 1,000 points. And you only get 600 for doing offline superstar. So you might as well do online and get the 500 for a loss and the 1,000 for a win. But with that being said, playing all that wild card, what is the coin value that we will get in return? So let's look at that. I hope you do enjoy it. If you do, hit that thumbs up. But how much do we make? Okay, so wild card. First thing is when you draft your team, they're going to be changing it up week in and week out. This week, they did a defensive scheme where they pretty much filled your entire team with wild card forwards, and then they let you put in the defenseman and the goalie. And I got one forward in there. Actually, I got two forwards in there, but defense was the theme. So you had to play with defensemen. Now, with that being said, we will start at the beginning, working your way through. You get packs that I'm about to open, but you also get coins. The coins throughout the uh, wild card climb equal 17,000 coins. So that's a little bit of value right there. Getting the 17,000 coins isn't bad. And then getting the game breaker collectibles where you get two out of objectives. And then you get these four game breaker collectibles. You can get an 80 plus card that maybe if you hit big, you get good value there. So that'll be the one random return in this uh, in this wild card climb but the rest of it has a pretty stationary value so the 80s we know 80s go for about 10k you want to keep this wild card 80 because this wild card 80 will be able to be cheaper salary wise to fill into wild cards in the future if you want to sell it if you want to sell it go ahead and sell it if you can we're going to check the card when i go pick it up from the inbox because here it doesn't say non-tradable in any way shape or form so when i go to my inbox and i look at this card i'm expecting it to be non-tradable we'll have to wait and see on that one because this x factor says non-tradable that's why I'm, I'm relating it that way so other than that we're going to open the packs we're going to see the coin value and we're going to go from there right now we know we are stationary at seventeen thousand coins with ten thousand coins for the 80 overall card now we're at twenty-seven thousand coins so far for wild card we will start with the inbox and we will start with the ivan barbashev equaling non-tradable even though it doesn't state that in the wild card so that might be a little bit of an oversight maybe it's supposed to say non-tradable in the wild card other other packs say non-tradable this one doesn't so you'd expect it to be tradable but so we'll say it's about 10k for that in value when you can turn them into sets now see this is where the untradable thing comes in it says untradable on this but not the barbashev either way the 76 overall player, we know those sell for 5,000-ish. They've been coming down. They've been bouncing around. They'll come down, they'll raise up, they'll come down, they'll raise up. But in around the 5,000K for the 76, 77. So we'll leave it at set 5K per card for each of these three 76s and 77s. There's three total, two 76s, 177. So that's going to bring it down to a 15,000 coin value. Now we also have four of these game breaker collectibles which i told you i'm going to turn into the 80s because you get four of these and two in the objectives so i will turn these in and we will take those six and make an 80 plus pack and see what value we get out of that now as for the 70 overall or better wild card what are we going to get here we're going to get a 72 carry price to put that 72 in the easiest way possible it has zero value to me but this one here has 5,000. we'll say we'll keep the math simple at 5,000, you can you could get more value to it, but it could be less value. It's non tradable, so the value is the turn in rate in which set you're going to complete. We're just going to put them at 5k. But like I said, that carry price is 72 overall, it has zero value to me. Now, this one here, we know if you're trying to build the captain's cards, you're going to need these, but we also know how much they cost. They fluctuate, they can get up to 250. 200 to 250 is where they float around in between, but they cost 152 to 160,000 to build. We're just going to put this down at a quick 200,000 because that's how much they are to buy. But you can build them for significantly cheaper as long as there's no big move in the market. So 200,000 is where we're going to put this for easy math. But you know, you need all eight. So just grab the one you need and slowly work towards it. But this is a nice add to have right at the end of the uh, wildcard climb because this is the biggest value that you get out of it. And uh, it is a pretty big value right now. So this is a nice grab. And this this one pack here is why people are uh, going through the entire wildcard climb. 
So who am I going to take? I don't know. I just built William Nylander, so this doesn't matter. Well, it doesn't not matter to me. I'm going to build probably Adam Fox next, but uh, it doesn't matter who I take because I don't need anybody, so I'll just grab Mackenzie Weger, and he'll be the first of eight that I'm going to be making. Now, the last piece of this wild card is this here. You can take the 84 overall if you want. You can take the 82 if you want. And you can take the 80 if you want. Now, one is bound, one is not tradable, and one is tradable. I take the tradable one. If you get a big pull, you're making a lot of coins. If you get a small pull, you still get coins. Now, this is a very bright screen. You can see that in the camera. I am pretty much green. This is very bright. But anyway, let's turn it in. And let's get our pack. Apparently, tomorrow, because I don't have that sixth collectible. Where is that sixth collectible? I thought you got both of them all in the moments, unless I'm not completely done it yet, because it's probably going to be capped behind a daily reward. It is capped behind the daily reward, so I got to wait 7 hours and 30 minutes before I can get my 80-plus overall pack. So I will have to do that tomorrow. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to say I'm going to pull an 80 overall card, which that price is 10k, if not dropping, which it seems to be maintaining around 10 to 11k, so it's... It's not really that bad, so 10k, but I could get a higher pull if I do, huge win, but for the sake of this video and for the sake of the total, I'm just going to say 10k. Now, with all those numbers being said, guys, it is a lot to take in, but here is the grand total. 257,000 coins is the value of wildcard. Now, it could have been higher. Maybe I rip that pack, maybe I get someone good, maybe I get an 85, maybe I get an 84, who knows, and that, that skyrockets the value, but to play it safe... 257 value is the coins that you get returned for three hours worth of work. That's not terrible. Wild card seems to be the most lucrative way other than objectives to, to work towards building a better team. So make sure, guys, week in and week out, you do your wild card. Because in your eight-week XP path, you do eight weeks of wild card, and it looks like you're getting two million coins in value from the wild card. So that's the way to go as long as it remains the same way. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, leave in the comment section down below what is your best way and favorite way to make coins in NHL 25 Hut. But guys, until next time, ciao, ciao.